Hello and welcome back. I'm Beeball Joe and this is War Crescent Resources Soviet Republic. As you can see, I added a couple more helicopters and they're actually doing things now and they're doing them great. And there's more. I'm building a long rail depot. Most of the track is done that we have built, not everything. I'll talk about this in a second. And we are probably go for a train at the end of this episode. It is March 1963, which means we are um, in almost our third year, which is awesome because we had a lot more episodes than three, but I think we're getting close to the one episode a year um, scenario, maybe two um, as possible. There are still a lot of constructions going on right now <clears throat> all at the same time, but it's getting less and the helicopters are helping a lot, especially on the worker count. They're awesome for that. For, for the rest, they're fine. This one can care. What are you doing? Hey, you. Oh, you want to go to heliport. Okay. But you. 4.3 tons of concrete versus a truck can do t up to 12, I think, is the biggest vanilla one. There is a difference. And you're wasting a lot of fuel on these. So there is that. But they do get stuff done pretty fast. For now, I have decided to put two one-way fuel stations. These are mods in the mod collection. Two one-way fuel stations right here. Um, with a long-ish entrance and a very short exit. I already feel like this entrance is not long enough, but I will deal with that when I have to deal with that. And then I have a little slip junction right here at the end, so a train could come in from this side, fuel up, and then leave again um, like this without having to use the butterfly junction over here. We'll see if that's good enough. I think it is. It may not be, but that's okay. Also... I am completing the aggregate loading for our gravel setup because that's one of the trains that I will run. I don't feel comfortable exporting prefab panels yet because I am currently importing cement with three trucks and they cannot keep up. A truck has a capacity of three tons. I have three of them. There's not a lot of cement here. So we import that. That's a lot. I will need to get the cement plant done before I can even consider exporting prefab panels because I also increased the number of workers here because we have a lot of workers now and it's still, it's not producing enough. The rail construction uses a lot of prefabs. I am currently actually importing prefabs again and there's 500 tons here. There's no reason to import them anymore, but it's not, this area is not ready yet to export, but the gravel for sure is. And if there's a problem here, I have no problem adding more um, gravel quarries up here that connect to this one. I can drop off probably just with a drop off spot here. Um, aggregate unloading station, I think is what it's called. And that will all be great. But what are we doing today? Well, this should get completed any minute now. Second. Yep, it's almost done. I'm not showing you that. I know. Because we also have this guy done. And I really, I would like this one done, um, but it's not. I just a small wind power plant so that these guys can get their fuel from here and don't have to drive anywhere else. I did buy two extra excavators and I'm not gonna lie, I had to take out a second $2 million loan, which is not awesome, but it had to happen. So we're at 2 million taken out. We've paid back about 500,000, which is not terrible, but it's definitely not great either. We, we need to make more money, but I have high hopes that once we have this area done, we can start importing grain by train loads and exporting food and alcohol and also stop importing food and alcohol. And all of that should mean life is better. One thing that I haven't set up yet, um, which I'm very aware of, and this city I don't want to start building until all the peripherals, or peripherals are done and maybe some industry is done. I, I just don't want to start this too early. And right now we don't have power coming in here and we're starting to build that. And we definitely don't have heat, but I don't want to start the heat until we have all the other necessary constructions done. So, what we have to do today. Since rail is already done in this area, we need to get moving on allowing our trains to um, go here. So let's build a quick butterfly junction. And yes, I said that last time that I do that a lot, so I was just going to skip it. But honestly, hey, let's just let's just talk through what I'm trying to do here because there are several things that are not um, normal in this area. Why am I taking out another line that goes straight out here? Pretty simple. We have the border post just right here. And I wanna use that. 
and I would like to use it efficiently and effectively, which means, again, normally, <laughs> if you watch season one, I'm a big fan of yards, train yards, rail yards, but, okay, so someone's gonna hate this turn. So let's make it a little um, wider, maybe this one? Um, yeah, that feels better. I do like train yards, but in this case, I hope I can get by without them. Uh, when you build your border connections, give yourself and your trains enough room to go in and then back out. And if you want to use really long trains, and I'm not going to use the longest trains that I can because this area I don't think is very suited for that. And if I will need that, I will just have to redo something. That's all right. Um, but here we are. Then next, make sure that you have ways for your trains to get from one rail to the other. And I'm gonna do it, usually I do it with one um, simple switch like that and one diamond switch like this. Now you can get to all the locations, but don't shorten your um, export rail that you already assigned here. And we have power, uh, a power connection there, which means we can think about maybe city four becoming coal and power so coal and power production which is important because we are importing power right now let's look at that what's our import export we export is actually doing okay if i look at last year 230 plus 290 from tourism it's not bad it doesn't offset everything but we are doing a lot of rare construction so i have a feeling once the rare construction is done we will use a lot less steel and that should help our bottom line so that is awesome. But also we are importing, let's see, power, 22,000 units. Yeah, 22,000 units of power, megawatts I'm assuming, for barely 30,000 rubles, which is not the end of the world. But if we can export that, I think we have a much better chance because the exporting is technically unlimited, depending how many, um, 18 megawatt lines you have, but I don't want to use anything power wise, especially exporting wise, until I have coal. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Actually, there are two. Um, there's the coal power plant, but also the gas power plant, which uses oil, but I don't have oil yet either. And then the nuclear ones, yes, I want them, but uh, maybe later. I feel like we're pretty early. Okay, but this is our simple, uh, simple export route, and that should be good. Now let's build our butterfly pieces. And if you've never done this before, give yourself a little wiggle room. That's important. And it looks like both of my excavators are currently heading, or were heading out here and refueling, and that's okay. I will survive. We do have power here now, so it should... Everything should just work now, but whatever. Um, Yeah. Now, when you want to do this, turn on the overlay like this. Um, in this case, I use F2. Then raise around the areas where you want to put rail, where you want to connect rail. You don't have to make this perfectly even or level or anything. All you have to do is be able to pull out a piece of rail. Once it turns yellow, you can do something here. And... Whenever you lay rail, I highly recommend make it as long as you can, because the more yellow you see, um, the more you can affect. And if it's happening like right now where nothing seems to move, which it isn't, stop what you're doing, use any of the tools, raise a little bit somewhere so you change the shape of the area and try again. And now it just works. Um, it, it's a little finicky maybe if you want to say that it is a different style of terraforming than most other games employ but personally i like it have you ever seen um when normal real life construction gets on the way and there's a large area like an old field uh, not an old field but a pr area that was previously just an agricultural field how they prepare that for maybe residential um use that's happening a lot in my city right now because my city is expanding a lot that's awesome um but it takes forever to just earth movers to scrape up some dirt somewhere and put it somewhere else and i think just mimicking the process as much as workers and resources does even simply on the time scale that it takes to move the dirt and to make something happen is actually pretty nice it is a little harder to play that way. I'm, I'm not going to say it's not. Absolutely. It's 
It's something to consider, but I don't think it's wrong. It's just, it is the way it is. Um, maybe this butterfly is a little too tight. Maybe it's perfectly fine. I don't know. I um, I like to use the game the way the game lets me play it. It doesn't always translate into the best um, train setup, but yeah, yeah. I'm, st I'm still playing. I'm still having fun. And that's in the end the main thing that we should worry about, right? Be well, Joe needs to have fun. <laughs> no, I, I get everyone that's telling me make your turns not this tight. But at some point, it's just you're fighting the game. And in a lot of, especially software, if you start fighting the software for what it was made to do, you're just going to cause yourself more trouble than is necessary. And that is not worth it. But this feels good. I can probably extend out the rail this way a little bit. I don't know where I want to go yet, though. So I'm going to leave that alone because I have a full size construction office here because I'm hoping that at some point I'm going to do something city related, maybe somewhere here. I don't want to leave this completely empty. Maybe it's another tourist town really close to the border. That's possible. Um, maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a, just an airport that's supposed to export some stuff through here. I really don't know what I want to do with that, but I also want a actual road connection to this uh, border office, even though so far we haven't spent really any, any dollars and I'm not really planning on it, but it's a thing that could happen eventually. Anyways... What are you doing? You are not working on anything. That means all rail that's ex uh, assignable and accessible is already done now. And that is amazing. Um, yeah, you can't get to that one. And here is where I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. Because um, I'll show you. We have to build these two. Um, absolutely. They have to get done pretty fast right before this is getting, getting started. Um... Yeah, so every time I want to expand rail, I essentially need a crossover point at any in, in any area. Otherwise, you will have really hard time, a really hard time to move your trains out. So it is better to build those crossover points earlier than later. And I feel like I forgot to put a lot of those in. There was a suggestion on just um, placing them every few kilometers, which I think is very valid. But I also feel that just placing them near bigger junctions should give me enough of an advantage to do what I need to do. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. There's none on this side. But if I can put one, yeah. I, I feel very confident that if I just put one near most junctions, I can cover most of the rework on the rail side that I will have to do eventually. And that, to me, that is good enough. I may, I may be completely wrong, and that's fine. It's just, this is where I'm at. Yeah, no. Let's get all those assigned, and I'm hoping that rail will just pick that up. Will you pick that up? And once all the small pieces are done, I think you already picked those. Yep, yep. I think you already have those. These should be done. Once all these small crossovers are done, I will deploy our first train. And we're getting pretty close to that. I'm excited. It's just going to be gravel, so it's not too exciting. But it's going to take a big chunk of the money that we have right now. Now, gravel is not the best thing to export. Absolutely, I'm not going to take my coffee right now, but gravel is not the best thing to export. Why? It is high volume, low price. So a train is the right thing to use for exporting it, but overall, there's just not a lot of money on gravel. So I'm going to buy a train, and let's, let's just price it out. Let's look at that. Um, diesel for sure, because I haven't electrified anything. That's the other reason why I have to put crossings in in several places so I can later go back and electrify um, the rail, which is something I want to do, and I want to fight through that, because I don't think that will be easy. That will be actually relatively really complicated. But here we go. The cheapest train we can buy is this guy. can go 80 kilometers per hour versus 97 versus 95. Maybe we'll use a T3M2 because a little faster is a little better because that's how it goes. And it doesn't block the other trains as much. The max speed for most other trains is, I think, 120. 
maybe 150 for some electric trains, but it's not much faster. So 80 versus 95 does make a difference. This is the train we're going to buy. Cool. Um, so 116. And here's the thing. The longer I wait for this, the more inflation will uh, kick my butt. So let's just buy it. Woo, it's there. And then get our wagons. We need cargo wagons. Very good. Hoppers. I would love to see some more hoppers, but that's fine. Let's start with 300 tons of export. So um, five of these. One, two, three, four, five. 300 tons all at one time. What's that mean here? No, 500. Uh, 300, um, 360, 420, 480. 540. 540 tons. I will see how that works in this area for how long the train takes to go somewhere and how all that plays together because it does matter it does matter a lot how we're we doing here still out of cement it's so sad um it matters a lot for everything that i want to do because if this gravel plant cannot keep up with the train export then we won't have enough gravel to expand our republic and that will be bad Seeing these guys sitting here is actually a good thing because that means almost all the construction is done. Yes. Awesome. Um, so those guys are simply sitting there on their butts, not doing anything important. So we can start here. Get the heating plants done. Get this guy done. And there's always the, should I do it this way or should I do it that way um, for assigning um, constructions, honestly? I think do whatever is more comfortable for you in the different situations. When I only do certain like specialty things, I usually have all my construction offices open. But in this case, I want all of these to work together to get everything done. And then I just assign them this way because it's easier to click through all these on a one click than to click assign, click the next one, click assign again, click the next one and so on. You know what I'm saying? Um, is this one okay it's all connected back in the day sometimes you could have long stretches of pipe that weren't connected to a road entrance on either side now we have um helicopters and that's helping a little bit but overall that's still not that that may not be enough so there we go got all these in i still need food and meat i think meat i will just buy a new truck and send a meat truck out there. This is nice to see that we're actually blocking here because that means our current load of vehicles is getting uh, critical. And uh, that's not great. Refrigerator. Give me the biggest one. All you are supposed to do is get meat from here. I'm picking it up from there because if I ever produce my own meat, I don't have to change all the routes to stop picking up from, from the border. So that's what we're doing. You go there. I don't want to buy any vehicles until I can um, actually man them. We do want all peripherals done. That's important. And that is the kindergarten that we still need. That is this guy that we still need for power. Because without power, everyone is going to be pissed. That's not helpful. And we need uh, this power line also done. But as you saw, there's only a couple more construction places that are currently um, being constructed. And that's awesome. Now we have, I think after the kindergarten, there's only residentials done. And I will start on this corner and just keep going later on. Um, apparently I haven't connected all of the footpaths. Um, that's not surprising because that was kind of the plan at the beginning. Um, this was more for not um, interfering with our road connections everywhere, but this should be fine have all those assigned these should be auto picked up by someone maybe at some point probably not though so perfect yes so this this episode right now is assigning a lot of stuff but it's really just building up to can our train run because with our train i have to get into signaling and signaling is fun <laughs> I, I i do actually think it's fun it it is for me anyways uh, how are we doing here? You are not done yet. Um, you are not, Why are you not as done as I think you should be done? What is happening here? You have none of these done. What is... What is your problem? Get out there. Why is there so much unfinished railroad going on? Get your stuff together. So, if you do shorter pieces of rail um, by themselves, the problem is that these big cranes 
will only go finish a construction and if there's a construction right after that they can connect to they will find it if there's a piece of finished construction and then another unfinished construction they will go all the way back before they try something now all of these have enough capacity to easily finish i think it's about three quarters of this rail to get it done in one one scoop and that's awesome but well not perfect for what we need and I don't want to add signals until all our crossover business is completed, because that is important. Are you going here, please? Nope. Where are you going? Uh, we'll just follow you. Yeah. Every once in a while, you just have to enjoy the game for what it's made for. And these new cranes, they look awesome. And currently, I don't have FPS problems, so let's enjoy that while we can. Because once FPS starts, we have a real... Real problem on our hand. Yeah, everything is just its just pretty. Look at this. Where are you going? Uh, ignore the bumps in the rail. And also ignore that I didn't add our first person um, follow, follow cam here. Because I actually think it's nicer. Uh-oh. Another crane. This is the reason why you... <laughs> this one went home, apparently. Thought the other one would. Um, this is the reason why you don't want to add signals too early, and if you can, have everything on one block from the construction office. There can be blocks around it, but the construction office, if it's inside a block that doesn't have signals, then all the rail construction cranes will just go around and do their own thing. Often, the correct train will teleport home. The correct train is just a train that has something loaded and it's not empty. In this case, this guy is empty. And he went home. Usually, sometimes it's the other one. Um, I don't know what the logic there is. Maybe the one that is further from home? I don't know. Um, but there you go. That's generally a good idea. I would like you to just finish these. Someone someone just go out and finish that because I really want the rail our, our guy here going. But apparently not. Now, you can send um your gravel train out here and the gravel train will never go home it will always be a um, rare construction crane that will go home but I, i'm already cheating enough with the with no signals and having the auto teleport home um with the cranes so i don't want to want i don't want to go into that okay i don't want to oh uh, yeah just finish all that that will be good all of these are fine What's left? What is left, indeed? Are you assigned to something? Yes, you're assigned to everything that I need. Are you assigned to something? No, you're not. Okay, um, let's fix that. I think um, there's a little bit left to do in this episode. One thing is just over here. The city currently is full, which is fine, but I would like to use the city as my construction post, outlet. Um, which, the way it's growing right now, it will reach capacity. It already has reached capacity. It will outgrow capacity very, very soon. Now, how do I best do this? The store is here. So, it is possible to bus your passengers around with buses. That's why it's called busing around. But it's not ideal. You want a big bus and then when they get out there they have to be picked up in time and they only have an hour wait limit so it's not the best way to go about it so let's not actually um let's not do that road for now if we need that i will add more actually i'm okay with using a couple bigger ones to make it a little different um I don't actually want you to connect to the main road there. I want you to connect just over here. Here. I already saw you yellow. There you go. Do that. This should give us enough buffer for, uh, I mean, about 250 people, 260 people. So that can go in there. I know I was thinking I had to plan more, but I think everything else is pretty much done. Let's fast forward a little bit until we can play some signals and then move our first train out. Look at the money. I just had 500,000 and now we have nothing. Ugh. <laughs> See you in a sec. It did take a little while, but we are at the end of the episode and I forgot everything that I said earlier because there are, for me in real life, over four hours, maybe five hours in between 
previous recording and now, but in-game was only about 20 minutes. I just didn't have that time earlier. So, all of the rail um, that we needed is done, is completed. I'm considering everything up to this point completed, and I'm not going to change it. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's not how this works, but that's where we are. So, signaling. First time in a very, very, very long time. Let's start with the simple ones. And I haven't decided yet if I need to do this or not. Probably will, but not right now. Mixed signals. They are great. Look, now everything is blocked up. Uh, they are great if you have a terminal station like this one. And the single arrow should just point towards wherever you want your terminal to be because that is the block that is open if nobody's in there. And then the double arrow should point at your junction, which will turn green if the next junction no, no sorry if the next signal is green not the next block that's the difference watch my um signal guides if that didn't make any sense to you because i'm i i, I think i've done a pretty okay job explaining what the signals do but here's where we start get our terminals done wonderful we did something over here we don't have a terminal we are leaving a um what is this a junction Yes, we're leaving a regular junction. And I'm going to put it so that we have at least two, maybe even three passenger trains fitting in here. Why? Passenger trains shouldn't be super long all the time. And then we put a chain signal right here because we are entering a junction and we don't need to, need to block it. This is not strictly necessary, but I tell everyone, if you start doing something one way, don't change it. Just keep up. Uh, chain to enter any block and block signal to exit any block and there you go and then this side should be relatively simple well i say that but i don't mean it because here's another junction there's a good amount of space in between here i think we will do just fine most of the time but there we go and then we have a regular cargo station there i'm gonna just put these here and then do the same thing here with our exit of the of the large depot. Now this is a bigger block than what I planned, but it mostly has to do with I added this um, large rail depot a lot later on. And that's okay. What else do we have? This guy. At this point, I will change uh, the direction, the cardinal directions of not the cardinal, but um, one way versus um, both ways on the rare construction of it because that was a freebie until now i didn't have to worry about that but now we do so let's do this right um again we go chain in like this and here and i will uh oh oh there's obviously there's no signal in front of it so some train is in this orange block which the orange block is everything else that means uh there's a red signal now and they can't go anywhere and that's fine at some point, there was a problem with the signal that was here that wouldn't release trains into the rare construction office. I don't know why, but I will keep an eye on that, and I will probably talk to the devs if that becomes appropriate. So if this one go in here, I did have a long think about the crossings that I have here. Why? They're not necessarily the best way to do it, but crossings should really only be blocked if any part of the junction, sorry, diamond junction should only be blocked if any part of the whole junction is blocked by anything else. And that is true for everything. It really doesn't matter where I put this. If I build the network in a way that can block everything, I have a problem that needs to be fixed. So having this here is probably okay. It may not be. Uh, maybe I have to revisit that. And if I do, I will. Pretty simple. That's how this game works. Nothing is final until I say so. Um, placing these signals um, is relatively straightforward, but it's the first time I'm doing this in this series, so I'm trying to follow. You don't have to, but I will always, like I just set up here uh, in this corner, chain signal in, block signal out. If you always follow that rule, you will never forget what that rule is and you will always apply that rule correctly. Um, I'm going to turn off snapping here, hoping that that will help my signal placement a little bit, and that is great. So, theoretically, you can make this a block signal because it doesn't matter if a train goes in here or there. The train, the, the train that goes the other way is not going to be blocked by it. I just like to keep it right. 
Just th that's all. Now this is an elongated junction, so um, just use it that way. Before I forget here, this has to be mixed. And this is important. This can be a train coming here, filling up a fuel there. This is never going to be enough space. And then uh, he can turn around and go the other way on this butterfly junction. That is great. But you also have to allow that. And for that, you want to use one of these signals because once a train is in here, everything is good. I mean, blocked. And that's what we want. On the other side, we just want a regular block signal so trains can leave this side. And that is good. And this chain signal is also good for getting into... Um, larger junction and that is awesome so i will continue this for all the other junctions and for all the other butterflies uh no just junctions not butterflies and uh, then i'll see you when the train goes out okay i feel relatively confident that i did it right and one check that everyone can do pretty easily is take any of the signals and go over your network that you have you don't want to have a lot of purples. A couple of purples are okay, and then big blocks of orange are usually indicators that you forgot some signals, like I did right here. So let's take care of that. Um, it looks like I have longer, um, what was it, waiting areas or staging areas right here that should allow for trains to not block the pickup of the prepad panels. And um, I will say that's probably a smart move. Although I didn't remember that, obviously, because I don't have signals in there. So get all this in. Make sure your chain is in, block is out. There's one more missing right here. And now I look at it, it's just like I have a couple blocks, I have a bunch of blue. This is a big purple one, which tells me there's something double chained together, which is also not what we want. So put another chain. Can't put it there, but I can put you here. Perfect. Now this looks right, and the shades of blue are generally just blocks, and any other color is supposed to indicate a junction where there is more than one way to get around. You don't want to have a lot of purple. Purple can happen sometimes, but generally keep it orange. So we'll just keep looking here. There's orange, there's a lot of blue. Here's purple. Now, are we doing something wrong here? It doesn't look like it, it's just that this junction is directly connected to this one. We could place another chain signal right here, or turn this, actually this should be a chain signal in my mind. Either we do this, which honestly doesn't make a big difference, or we just take that one out and make it one big orange block and then it's fine. Well, both of them would have been fine in the first place. Then I go out here, use your mixed signals um, pointing with the arrow to the border. That's important, otherwise that doesn't work. Um, yep, everything over here is fine. And then we have another purple guy here. Huh. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna block this up. This is not a big enough um, junction piece where this actually matters. Um, we're gonna leave this one out. We'll keep that one orange. There's no signal in between there, and I'm okay with that. But looking at everything else, it's just one color, and then this whole thing is one block. Now that is on purpose. Now that we have turned on our rail or signaled our rail. Only one train will be in this whole junction at a time, building whatever they can. At some point, I will pro probably put a crossing here, so we can have two trains together working on the rest of this. But that's not a concern right now. There's the same idea on this side, and most likely the same idea on this side, because we will have to extend this eventually. But for right now, they can get to any, um, any piece of rail, no problem, but everything is orange. That means everything is the same block. If you would put any signals in here, they would split up those blocks and you have more space, but then you start confusing yourself and that's not very helpful. Money-wise, we're actually doing okay. I thought we we're going to be a little lower, but we, we are just fine. I'm trying to build these guys, but for some reason we are not getting something concrete. Do we not? Are we missing something? There are no workers. I think that's okay. Haha! -ha! Found the problem. You guys, one of you get out of here. Not get out of here, get out of here, just um, stop waiting there. The other two can stay there. Yeah, the problem was these two buses weren't doing what they were supposed to do. Which honestly isn't a big deal because all we're doing back here is create gravel, but then we have cement and asphalt that wasn't produced. That's bad. So, looking at the construction offices here that don't do anything, looking at buildings that are not done tells me something is not right. 
uh, and the rest is all doing just fine. So, for the grand finale today, get our train going. Um, it's just a gravel train, should be pretty simple. This completed at some point in between, I didn't think that was noteworthy. I will specify only to load gravel. You don't have to do anything with the advanced setup for every single wagon, and that is okay with me right now. But all I want you to do is go from there to the border. Yep, that one. Wait until unloaded. Honestly, you never have to do this at the border, especially when you sell things, because other countries don't run out of money. So this should just be fine. And that is good. Um, we can close this one, and we can go to our vehicle and enjoy the ride. I will say that's all I have for today. There will be more rail, obviously, uh, from here on out, and a lot more Republic. We have our third city almost started, and it's moving along just nicely, uh, but there's there's a lot more to do. I think farm will be important next, because we will start increasing our crop um, need just for the food and for the um, alcohol um, industry, and then we should probably also produce our own fabrics, even though we need some um electronics for that but i think it's okay if we import that for a little while not electronics chemicals that's what we need we're not at chemical production yet um and then it's probably time for a harbor because to make chemicals and to make a lot of things that we need right now oil is something oh and not to forget also to our left there's a big coal deposit and in front of us is a prime location for a steel plant coal production just electrical, um, like power plant, all of that stuff. There are a lot of things that we still have and get to do, and I'm kind of excited to do that. So, first train, finally, year three. Things are good, I like that helicopter up there. Things are doing really, really, really good. I'm assuming this train will fit easily and be able to turn around here. That's, that's what it's laid out to be. I hope that it's what it's going to be, and I do also hope that we have some um, airflow right now. But, I will let you enjoy the ride. I will turn off the... Oh yeah, we just barely fit in here. Wow. I will turn off the camera, and um, if you like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe. I have a Patreon. I have a YouTube membership. Just come hang out sometimes when I have a live stream. It's not always workers and resources, but I enjoy having you, so I hope you enjoy watching. I thank you all for watching. Did I say that before? I said a lot of watching right now, but um, enjoy. Bye.